This video looks at something I like to call shampoo science. Shampoo science is the pseudoscience popularized by shampoo adverts. This phenomenon is not limited to just shampoo adverts. And of course, not all shampoo adverts employ this. When I was young, I remember certain TV adverts for using what I felt was pseudoscience to promote their products. For some reason, it was the shampoo adverts that stood out for me, hence the name shampoo science. In this video, I will show some examples of shampoo science and explain why they are fallacious. The first example is quite common. It is when the advert uses a survey to make some point. They might say 70% of women agree that this shampoo makes their hair healthier. The advert will likely have to cite the study from which they are making this claim. But of course, the average user won't read the study. The study will typically be a survey of people who have used the product. Now, let us assume that the study is not biased and the sample size is sufficiently large. What exactly does the claim say? I think many people might well believe that this shampoo will be good for them. The thing is, the study doesn't actually examine whether the shampoo makes your hair healthier. It simply asks for people's opinions on the issue. A better claim would be the makers of this shampoo can influence on average 70% of its users into believing that the shampoo makes their hair healthier. But I doubt they would ever say this in their advert. If someone actually wanted to examine the effect of the shampoo on the health of hair, they could do so scientifically. First, by defining hair health and how to measure it and then by conducting randomized clinical trials that also include alternative products. In this way, we would discover if the shampoo actually makes hair healthier. The next example is an appeal to authority. The advert might use a celebrity or even a doctor to endorse the product. They might say, I recommend using this shampoo for healthier hair. As with any endorsement, you should consider the expertise of the person and whether it is relevant. If the doctor specializes in kidneys, mathematics, or even astrophysics, then their academic expertise may not be relevant when endorsing shampoo. Even if you trust the person, you should consider carefully what they say. Don't assume that everything they say is correct just because they said it. The next example can be quite subtle. The advert might use certain imagery to heighten the company's scientific appeal. For example, they might use a model wearing a lab coat and safety glasses, or show a room that looks like a science lab. This can influence the viewer into believing that the company has a scientific approach and so their products will work better. Of course, the company will employ scientists, but I doubt they look anything like the model in the advert or work in an environment like that depicted in the advert. The fact that these companies employ scientists should not come as a surprise. It should be expected. That concludes the video. Now that you understand what I mean by shampoo science, what examples come to your mind? And remember, this is not limited to shampoo adverts.